Hey people, so tonight's live, or should I say video, is all about biotin, okay? <sighs> all right, so there's a lot of uh, misinformation on the perfect way to regrow your hair through what we call hair vitamins, right? So most people leave home go to whatever um, pharmacy they like, whatever drugstore, family dollar, whatever. And they pick up a bottle of biotin because we're told that biotin is great for the hair, the skin, and the nails, which is true. I'm not denying that it is great for just those areas specifically. But what people don't understand is the hair needs way more than just biotin good evening the hair needs way more than just that the hair lacks in omegas it lacks in b vitamins which is biotin by the by the way biotin is just people kind of mix it up biotin is an ingredient but that ingredient is made up of a number of b vitamins so it's not just biotin meaning one thing it's made up of a number of b vitamins right so whenever you utilize biotin the only thing that you are getting is b vitamins i hope everyone's following did i lose you i think i did no okay so biotin itself is great for the hair the skin and the nails but you also are still lacking other things. You're lacking vitamin A. You're lacking vitamin C. You're lacking vitamin E. Greetings, you're lacking vitamin D. You're lacking um, majority of the B vitamins. You also can be lacking protein. You can be lacking high. You can be lacking um, antioxidants, um, amino acids. A lot of things that we lose from you know just doing our normal day doing our normal things to our hair we lose a lot of this so then you go and you just get biotin and say man i want my hair to just grow back and i want it to be long mm -hmm. right so when you stop taking this biotin or let's say you've taken too much now you've taken too much and you notice that the body's not really reacting it's not doing anything you have energy through the freaking roof but you don't have any hair yet you know why? Because biotin doesn't technically work that way. Biotin is just like anything else that you put in the body. You put too much, the body expels about 80% of that, and you only retain about 20%. Hi! You only retain about 20%. So Bridget says, I had blood work done. I found out my vitamin A, B, D, and potassium is deficient, and I'm on them daily now. Which typically, that's actually... I'm not going to say that's normal. Amongst African Americans, we typically are deficient in vitamin D, number one, because we don't like the sun. You don't want to get darker. And when it's hot, we're like out. We're out. But yes, <laughs> we need vitamin D. I take um, a 50,000, I think it's micrograms of vitamin D a week. Once a week, though. I only do it once a week. And that's because I have a thyroid issue, so I am always deficient in vitamin D. Hello, chickadee. Thank you, because I was taking just biotin. Makes sense. So I'm glad everyone asked that. Okay, so you can do one-a-day women's, which is a great um, vitamin for us, but it lacks in the amount of biotin that you technically need. So biotin, typically, you want about 5,000... Um, is it micrograms or milligrams? Micrograms or one of the two. But it needs to be 5,000 or higher. I don't recommend going over 5,000 with your biotin. It, it's not really needed. Your body is going to take that in and it's going to aid uh, along with all the other vitamins that you're taking within that one capsule. So you're not going to be lacking of anything. Um, for me, these are like the most important. You need to make sure that you're getting your vitamin A. You need to make sure you're getting vitamin C, B vitamins, which would be your biotin, um, vitamin D. D, D is okay, but whenever you're taking a hair, skin, and nail vitamin, it's going to contain A, um, B, which is biotin, C, which is, you know, your antioxidants, um, D, 
which you can get from the sunlight but remember it's hair skin and nails so the skin technically is meaning the vitamin d but it can also aid with the hair um hydraulic or high <laughs> hyaluric acid I can never say this word at all at once hyaluric acid um, collagen um, omega-3 6 9 typically they don't say that on there um, which one vitamin K can also be important but you don't have to find a vitamin that contains all of this at once um, if you take a multivitamin and then you pair that with a hair, skin, and nail vitamin, that's efficient. And hair, skin, and nail vitamins typically are a lot smaller than a multivitamin. A multivitamin is targeting other things more than just hair, skin, and nail. It's targeting, um, you know, cholesterol and heart, muscles, that kind of thing. It's not really there for the hair. Hair typically needs a lot more. Uh, let's see... Someone says they take liquid biotin. Your body probably expels that even faster than the capsule version. Liquid biotin is cool. It goes into the um, the bloodstream a lot faster, but it also releases a lot faster too. I take blood pressure medicine. Can you recommend a good vitamin? So here's the thing with blood pressure pills. Um, of course, you retain water. So I would definitely say for you, speak with your physician and have them prescribe you, uh, prescribe you, prescribe you a blood pressure capsule. Um, lord a multivitamin only because with blood pressure sometimes you have adverse reactions and i don't want to um tell you something that technically might not be good for you um i have a multivitamin that's only for the hair skin and nails it's all natural but i will still give you guys some alternatives for those of you who might not want to go my direction, that's fine. Um, I've taken one a day women's, which is good. And then I added another biotin capsule with that. Um, they do have, um, I've heard of Hairfinity, which I've heard great reviews about Hairfinity. Um, I've even gone to Sam's Club and found big bottles of hair, skin, and nail vitamins. And then I also found big bottles of biotin too. But you really want to make sure that you're targeting hair, skin, and nail vitamins. And then you can take that with your multivitamin. Remember, multivitamins do not um, typically target hair, skin, and nails. It targets the internal organs. I take it and uh, my hair, skin, and nails. Okay. So 3,000 micrograms isn't enough. I have Nature's Bounty brand. I took Hairfinity, but it got too costly after a while. Um, I have heard that before about Hairfinity. Um, that's typically why. I was going to become a distributor for Hairfinity, and I felt like the price point was just too high for a one-month capsule. So I went in search of my own capsule, which is a natural, all-natural hair, skin, and nail vitamin. And I wanted it to be um, cost-effective but last a little bit longer. So mine's actually last two months. You can take two a day, which I never recommend. Um, it's just too much. One a day is sufficient and it one bottle is a uh, two month supply if you do one a day or if you do two a day, it's a 30 month supply, 30 day supply. And I made sure that mine was cost effective only because I knew that on the market, hair, skin and nail vitamins can typically be very costly because people know exactly what they do and those babies can put hair anywhere. So if you do too much, you might find out you got a gold teeth. I had radiation therapy and I have taken prednisone. I have to take prednisone. How can I grow my hair? It just seems like it's thinner. So let me tell you all about prednisone. Prednisone is the devil. No. <laughs> prednisone is one of those things where if it's needed, definitely utilize it. If it's not needed, definitely don't. In your case, of course, it's needed because it's a steroid. Steroids do 90 million things to the body. And unfortunately, hair thinning and hair loss is one of them. So with that being said, just like I say in all of my other videos, when it comes on to medication, you have to kind of talk to your doc about that and say, hey, is there an alternative because it's messing with my hair? A lot of times your doctor is not focused on things like that. They're not focused on your hair. They're not focused on your skin. They're focused on the mass problem and getting the mass problem taken care of. And then there's adverse reactions, which is other things. But until you mention it, they don't really think to ask. You know, they don't have the time to ask. So I definitely speak with your physician in regards to um, the prednisone and the hair thinning, that kind of thing. You might have an alternative. You might not. Uh, thank 
Thanks, Billy. Okay, so Miss Pamela says she takes one a day women's and Myel Organics Advanced Hair Vitamins with Biotin. Hey, that's great. That's perfect. That's perfect. You're supplementing. Is it on your site? Yes. Um, the Astonish, it looks just like this. That's what the capsules look like. So the gel capsules, um, you take one a day. It says two a day. I have found that a lot of my clients who utilize this capsule because it's so strong, they typically switch to one a day. That's why I prefer saying it's a two month supply. You don't need that much vitamin in a day. The body can only take so much before it expels 80% of that vitamin. So don't go and overdo it and then your body starts expelling it at an ex exaggerated rate and you really are not taking anything in or keeping any of the nutrients in because you're losing so much. I'm sorry, babe. I only speak English and I cannot speak Spanish. Someone commented in Spanish, guys. But let me get back to what I was saying. So what are the side effects of biotin? Number one, you get very, very thirsty. Number two, you can possibly get insomnia. Why? Because biotin is a B vitamin. Biotin is a series of B vitamins. I think it's B B9. I think it's B9 is the biotin number. If it's not B9, then it's like a B13. I'm going to find out. I can't remember which one it is. But biotin is a is actually one of the numbers of the B vitamins. So it technically can give you insomnia if you take too much. And you can get extremely thirsty because your metabolism is going like this. And you start sweating like a hog. And then you can't get rid of it. So that's why that's another thing why I tell people to be very, very careful how much biotin you take in when it comes on to hair growth, good skin, thick nails, that kind of thing. Because it can have it has a, a real adverse reaction. Like if you do too much, you start number one, your hormones are out of whack, and you start growing hair in places you didn't even want hair. And sometimes you don't get the hair on your head. You get the hair on your chin, you get a whole goatee and it starts to connect. No woman wants this. Now, if that's what you want go ahead but taking too much biotin you'll start seeing things like hair growth in places that shouldn't really grow hair okay so keep that in mind when it comes on to utilizing these biotin only capsules that's why i don't suggest biotin only capsules because they can really get um intense that's what it is biotin is a b7 that's what it is and it's known as a coenzyme so that's i couldn't remember which number of the bees it was but it's b7 that is what biotin is so while b7 is good and all the series of bees are good too much of these bees can give you insomnia collagen and magnesium will that help in growing healthy hair so the great thing about it is yes collagen is good of course collagen is the skin the scalp is skin so, of course, that's a makeup of the actual skin. Um, magnesium is good, too, but magnesium is better for the heart, that kind of thing. But, of course, it's best with the blood flow. Blood flow goes to the scalp, who then nourishes the bulb. So, same thing. It's, it's neither are bad, but once again, too much of something is not always good. That's why I always suggest a multivitamin hair, skin, and nail, not just skin, not just hair, not just nails. Not just multivitamin. Um, let's see. What else can I say? Okay. So how you can also get biotin in um, another form other than a capsule. You can get it through your food. So you can get it through yeast, which too much yeast is not always good. The egg yolk. Um, the egg yolks are high in biotin. So if you love eggs. You're naturally taking in biotin, and then you go and you add more biotin, and then you're just biotin out. It's just a biotin ass party in your body. No, let's stop doing that. Let's stop doing that. Let's stop doing that. Let's stop doing that. Okay. Um, where are places that you can get some good hair, skin, and nail vitamins? I'm an Amazon fiend. You definitely can go on Amazon. Um, I am a big saver. I'm cheap as hell. I like to go to Sam's and save. So you can get them at Sam's. You can get them from your favorite retailers. Um, I know a lot of the retailers, they don't offer them in store. Um, they only offer it through them directly. Like myself, my actual capsule is directly through me and me only. I do not have it in store. I do not have it on Amazon. I just, I like to keep everything right at home. At home meaning with me. Um, so it's kind of like a, a win 
win kind of thing. If you're one of those people where you want something right right now, definitely you can go to Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, whatever's in your area, and look at the back of the bottle, people. Look at the ingredients. Your multivitamin for your hair needs to contain... Oh, what's your name? <laughs> I say my name every day on my lives. <laughs> but my name is Crystal. Um, so you make sure that it contains vitamin A. Make sure that your multivitamin for your hair, which is hair, skin, and nails, contains vitamin B, which would be considered the biotin of 5,000 micrograms or more. Um, make sure that it contains... Um, vitamin D, which typically is for the skin, but it also affects the hair. Remember, the scalp is the skin. Don't look at just the hair. Remember, the hair comes out of what? The scalp. And the scalp is what? Your skin. Keep that in mind. Bad skin, bad scalp. Right? Um, make sure that it contains collagen. Um, you're welcome. Uh, make sure that it contains... Vitamin K is kind of iffy. Vitamin E is a big one. Vitamin E is the the um, vitamin that helps to heal the skin. Remember, healing the skin, healing the scalp, same thing. So those are the things that you want to make sure that your multivitamin contains. Thanks. <laughs> Someone said they love my nails. <laughs> I'm big on my nails and I hate combing my hair. And I'm a hairstylist. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know. Okay, so what does the astonished hair, skin, and nail vitamin contain. This particular vitamin is, like I said, 100% natural, okay? 100%. It contains goji berry, collagen, hyaluric, or hy I always say this word wrong, hyaluric acid, um, vitamins A, vitamins B, which is the B vitamins, vitamin C, um, vitamin D, vitamin E. How much are your vitamins? The 60 capsule bottle is $32.99 and then all of my YouTubers get 15% off. This can last you for two months compared to a lot of the other brands. They are only 30 days and you're spending the same $30. When will you get more? They're on the site. They're actually on the site right now. Um, I have, I think I still have, when I did inventory today, I think I have 24 still in stock. Thank you for the information. I'm not big on vitamins since I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Octavia, that's great. Fruit and vegetables are great, but you do still need to be taking at least a multivitamin. I was going to try those, but was not sure what was in it. So I am telling you right now, this is what is in it. Sea dogs. So it has photo... Let me make sure I'm saying... Let me make sure I said this right. Photoceramides. Um, vitamin A. Vitamin B, which is your biotin, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin D. Remember, this is hair, skin, and nails. Hyaluronic acid, goji berries, and collagen. All tailored towards hair, skin, and nails. And then, of course, if you're taking a multivitamin, which some people don't have that choice, and they have to take a multivitamin, then definitely I'd skip a day. I wouldn't take all of that in one day, every single day, because your body, your body is going to start expelling and you don't want it to expel the multivitamin and then place it with the, with the hair, skin, and nail. You want your body to take in everything. Typically, it's best to take a multivitamin or a hair, skin, and nail vitamin on an empty stomach. But if you are one who gets sick, like I am, it's always best to have something on the stomach, whether it be a cup of milk, a fruit, something of that sort. I typically put my little... Um, frappuccino or something on my belly first and then I take my multivitamin so photo sericides those basically are they're considered to be collagen it's kind of like they use it in Botox but with me saying they use it in Botox it helps to improve the skin the hair and the nails great shampoo and conditioner for thinning hair I take vitamins. That's awesome. I actually have a um, shampoo and conditioner coming out that I can share a little bit of the details with you guys right now. It is targeting hair repair and strengthening. The pre-sale will be sometime next week. It does contain black castor oil. It does contain CBD, but it also helps to replenish the moisture, strengthen the hair, repair the hair, and all the goodies that goes with that. Is there a good multi liquid multivitamin? 
I'm not good with pills since I take a lot for my medications. I actually did find a good multivitamin at Walgreens. It was in a red bottle, but I cannot remember the name. My family is from Jamaica. We also use SS Tonic that you can find in like West Indian stores or Caribbean stores. SS Tonic is really, really good. Um, it comes in a big box and you take a tablespoon a day. So you can use those as well. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything up. So let's see what these questions have here. Oh, good. It's not a lot of questions tonight. All right, awesome. So if you guys don't have any questions for me, like I said, if you are already utilizing a biotin capsule, please go out and get you a good multivitamin, okay? No, just no to straight biotin. You need to just lay off the straight biotin. I can't wait for your shampoo and conditioner. I can't wait for my shampoo and conditioner. I am like stoked. Oh, and I have some even greater or better news. So I finally found a warehouse. I'm like so freaking excited. So my brand will be moving to a warehouse where I can get faster shipping, more help, that kind of thing. I'm like so, so excited. Also, I have a networking event coming up in September. It is called Boss Babes and Beauty, where it will be, well, let me say it the right way, Boss Babes and Beauty Networking Brunch. It is a brunch where you'll be able to meet makeup artists and hairstylists and get all kinds of tips and tricks and all that stuff all in one place. So you guys look out for that as well. Let's see, I had some questions on here and I'm going to answer them. Do you recommend a good brand over the counter? I don't really know the brands over the counter. I just know one a day does make um, some form of multivitamin for hair, but I, I don't know. Um, like I take one a day active metabolism. I can't get that over the counter. I have to order that one. So just go into your Walmart or your Walgreens or Rite Aid or one of those stores and see if you can find one. Can't wait for your new products. Thank you guys. I appreciate your support. I've got sister locks and I find they are always very dry. Any suggestions? So sister locks is one of those things where it does its own thing when it wants to do its thing. The only thing that I can suggest is making sure that your conditioner is extremely thick and you can infuse it with a little bit of oil. Um, your choice of oil, typically like something heavy, olive oil, um... Jojoba oil is not so heavy. Try not to use carrier oils. Carrier oils are not heavy enough. Um, but you can use like olive oil, grapeseed oil. Let me not say carrier oils are not good because the shea butter and jojoba oil and grapeseed oil, those are really full oils. Avocado oil is also a very good one to mix into your shampoo. Um, castor oil, which all of my products actually contain Jamaican black castor oil all of the, the serums do specifically so they're very thick but if you don't have access to my products or you haven't gotten any you definitely can use grapeseed oil olive oil that kind of thing and infuse it into your conditioner <sighs> will we still be getting the advanced email for the shampoo and conditioner yes everyone will as long as you're on my mailing list you will know before everybody else Yay to me too, and it's not even me. <laughs> Thank you, Octavia. Thank you for the love and support. My hair got thin after weave. Will it come back thick with treatment? Possibly. It depends on if your traction alopecia has gone too far. Definitely start get your start right now. Get yourself a hair, skin, and nail vitamin, and get yourself on a good regimen of taking care of your hair. Congratulations on the warehouse. Get those coins, sister girl. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yay, I caught your live. Yes, you caught my live. Now is the time to ask any questions about your hair care. I'm here. Miracle 2000 was a liquid vitamin I used to take. It's nasty, but when I say my body feels good and your hair grows, just the taste turns you. Ugh. Hey, there you go, guys. Miracle 2000. That's one that you can definitely utilize. I'm in the UK. Do you do international shipping? I do do international shipping. You get two shipping options. The $28 shipping, which is like snail mail, or the $38 shipping, which is six to seven business days. All of my international orders outside of Canada, you have to actually email me or send me a DM to get your order because I have to invoice you. My people on my site, don't they don't like it. 
How often should I oil my hair? It depends. If you're natural, you can oil your hair as often as you like when it's in its natural state. When you are relaxed, typically once to twice, no more than that per week. Sis, can you provide any words of advice for collagen peptides for hair? I cannot. <laughs> I can ask my chemist in regards to collagen peptides and what they do for the hair, but I, I really don't know much about it. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's see. You're welcome. So here, I just found something. I'm one of those people I like to help everybody. The benefits of collagen peptides for hair, skin, and athlete performance. Collagen peptides contain 18 amino acids, including eight out of the nine essential amino acids, and has a predominance of glycine or glycine, which is good for inflammation, sleep, and detox, and proline, which is good for muscle tissue. So it sounds just like a hair, skin, and nail vitamin to me, but it just has a little bit more collagen in it and helps to replace the amino acids, which most hair, skin, and nail vitamins do anyway. I've tried Vital Collagen at Target or Walmart in the blue container. Uh, there you go. Are you saying I have to place my order by email? Uh, no, but you'd have to email me for me to actually be able to, for you to actually be able to place the order internationally. Does the serum work for CCCA alopecia? The serum works for any form of alopecia that is not scarred. Thank you. Someone says my CBD oil serum is awesome. I'm going to screenshot that. I always use that stuff for my reviews. Yay. All right, guys. So that my hair, ugh, this is the last question, I promise. My hair is natural and tends to stay dry. I do a lot of wash and goes. How often do you recommend deep conditioning? Once no more than once every two weeks. You don't want to deep condition too often. That will bite, like your hair will start to expel conditioner. So once every two weeks is good. All right, people. So thank you so much for watching my video. Once again, you guys are always a bomb, bomb, bomb. For those of you who are on um, or watching now, don't forget, go out, get you a very good hair, skin, and nail vitamin. If you are looking for one, I have the Astonish line that is on my site, EliteHairCareUSA.com. You can definitely go on there and grab you a bottle. Use code YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E, -E, to save 15% off all of your orders from my YouTube gang, my goddesses, my loves, all of you guys. And then, of course, if you have any um, suggestions for those who might be commenting, asking about a good hair, skin, and nail vitamin, asking about good collagen, that kind of thing, comment down below. And please, please, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel. Crystal is a natural. I hear other what? Natural say it's not good to use oil in your hair, but you, what do you think? I do. I use oil. I, I don't know why people say don't use oil. That's kind of dumb. I have scarlet alopecia and the hair is growing back on my crown and my dermatologist was surprised how well my hair is growing back. You are actually probably one in nine million people that can grow their hair back after having scarring alopecia. So hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon.